Hello and welcome. I'm Pascal Menezes and I'll be sharing my insights on fasting today. Please note that I'm not a medical professional and nothing I say should be taken as personalized advice. I'm simply sharing my personal experiences and knowledge gained from my nine year journey with a low carb ketogenic lifestyle. When most people hear the word fasting, they think of hunger, deprivation or religious rituals. But fasting is far more than simply skipping meals. It's an ancient rhythm built into our biology, a strategy that allows the body to heal, repair and function at its best. Today, modern science is rediscovering what our ancestors knew. Periods of eating followed by periods of not eating can improve our health in powerful ways. Intermittent fasting, which is now becoming a health trend, is not about eating less food forever. It's about changing when we eat food so your body can rest, reset and shift into repair mode. Fasting is one of humanity's oldest healing tradition, practiced for thousands of years across cultures and religions for spiritual clarity and physical renewal. In modern times, science has rediscovered its power. Researchers like Dr. Yoshinori Oshumi, who uncovered autophagy, and Dr. Jason Fung, who applied fasting to reverse diabetes and obesity, helped bridge ancient wisdom with modern science. Today's intermittent fasting protocols, such as 16-8, OMAD, or alternate day fasting are refinements born from scientific research and shared human experiences, allowing people to tailor fasting to their own lifestyle and health goals. Why fasting matters? Fasting supports metabolic health, encourages weight management, and triggers autophagy and other powerful repair processes inside our cells. And this has been shown to help in the prevention and reversal of chronic illnesses and other metabolic disturbances. In other words, fasting gives the body time to rest, repair and restore balance. It helps regulate insulin, reduce inflammation and promote cellular renewal. But fasting alone isn't enough. What you eat between fasts determines the quality of your results. Therefore, feeding your body is an essential part of fasting. Consuming nutrient-dense whole foods allows the body to fully benefit from the healing and metabolic advantages of fasting. In short, fasting and mindful eating are two sides of the same coin. Fasting cleanses and mindful eating nourishes. Fasting resets the body and mindful eating rebuilds it stronger. Fasting purifies every cell and mindful eating strengthens every system. Before going further, let us consider some of the safety aspects that must be followed and be aware of the contraindications before someone considers fasting. Number one, consulting a medical professional is important before starting to fast, especially for those on blood sugar medications, those who are pregnant or breastfeeding, those who are underweight or having a history of eating disorders, those suffering from certain chronic conditions, children, teenagers, and people on multiple medications. Number two, during fasting, and especially during multi-day fasts, hydration and electrolytes are important. And number three, it is also important to note that refeeding after a multi-day fast must start gently. Start with a small, easily digestible meals. Reintroduce carbs slowly. 
So now let us dive in and take a closer look at the different fasting protocol, starting with the simplest form to going beyond to extended fast. Welcome to Intermittent Fasting, a strategy for health, healing and prevention. So what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is an umbrella term and includes eating patterns that cycle between periods of fasting and eating designed to give your body time to rest and reset. It is not a diet, so it does not prescribe what foods to eat, but rather when to eat them. Intermittent fasting can range from daily time-restricted feeding protocols to extended fast spanning multiple days. In this video, we'll explore the different intermittent fasting protocols, their unique benefits and how they support health, healing and prevention. There are two main categories of intermittent fasting. One, daily time restricted feeding within the time frame of 24 hours and two, multi-day fasts that go beyond one day. Within each category, we have several protocols that have evolved from a combination of ancient practices, modern scientific research and shared experiences refined over time. So let me take you through the first category of intermittent fasting, which is time-restricted feeding or TRF. And this occurs within a single day or 24 hours. There are several protocols as listed in the slide, 12-12, 14-12, etc. The focus is when to eat, not necessarily how much to eat. These protocols are organized from the simple to the more demanding to help beginners with health issues to start on simple routine and depending on the health situation, progress to the more demanding one till the health goals are met and maintained. The easiest starting point is the 12-12 protocol. It's 12 hours of eating followed by 12 hours of fasting. It's simple and it resets your daily rhythm. The benefits are easiest starting point close to normal eating. It encourages better sleep in circadian rhythm alignment. It reduces late night snacking, cutting empty calories. It's a mild improvement on insulin sensitivity and digestion. Next is the 14-10 protocol and that is 14 hours of fasting and 10 hours of eating. A gentle push towards better fat burning and flexibility. The benefits of 14-10 are greater fat utilization than the 12-12 protocol. Supports moderate weight loss and improves metabolic flexibility, switching between carb and fat. The 16-8 protocol is the most popular approach. It helps with weight loss, improves insulin sensitivity, and is easy to sustain. The benefits of 16-8 are that it is scientifically well studied for weight management. It improves insulin resistance and lowers fasting glucose. It enhances fat loss while preserving lean mass and it's convenient, just two meals and maybe a snack. We then move on to a more aggressive protocol, 18-6. And by now you know it is 18 hours of fasting and 6 hours of eating. During this protocol, fat burning deepens and autophagy, the body's repair system, becomes more active. The benefits of 18-6 are deeper fat burning and ketosis, increased autophagy compared to 16-8, and appetite control improves as ghrelin, the hunger hormone, stabilizes. Now, the protocol 24 is also known as the warrior diet. The warrior diet follows a 20-hour fast with a 4-hour eating window. It mimics how ancestors often ate one big meal at night. The benefits of 24 are strong fat adaptation and high autophagy, significant insulin reduction. It mimics ancestral eating pattern, one meal at night, and it often is associated with mental clarity and focus. 
the protocol omad omad means one meal a day it maximizes daily fasting benefits but can be restrictive so it isn't for everyone but the benefits of omad are maximum caloric restriction while still eating daily high autophagy and cellular repair strong appetite reset and discipline simplicity no meal planning except for one meal let us now look at the second category of intermittent fasting extended or prolonged fasts go beyond 24 hours and may be attempted by people who are already used to fasting and are comfortable at the beginner or the intermediate level of fasting protocol let us walk through each of the extended fasts from the easiest to the strictest the 52 protocol involves 5 days of eating and 2 days of fasting or very low calorie eating a flexible option for beginners the 52 benefits are easier adherence weight loss and metabolic improvements the next is the alternate day fasting or adf which alternates between eating one day and fasting the next it's powerful but can be hard to stick with the benefits of adf are strong weight loss improved insulin and inflammatory markers also repeated daily switching fosters metabolic flexibility the next one is the 36 hour fast also known as the monk fast the 36 hour fast starts with dinner skips the next day's meals and ends with a break a strong reset without going too far the benefits of 36 hour fast are strong autophagy metabolic reset deeper autophagy signals clearer insulin reset than the 24 hour in the 48 hour fasting protocol ketosis deepens and insulin resets further but refeeding must be done with care the benefits of a 48 hour fast are substantive autophagy immune and metabolic effect reported in some studies sustained ketosis glycogen being typically depleted within 24 hours moving on to the 72 hour fasting protocol this is one of the most studied prolonged fasts it activates deep repair and immune benefits the 72 hour fast or the 3 day fast has several benefits strong autophagy immune modulation signals deep insulin sensitivity improvements in many studies advanced autophagy sustained ketosis and metabolic switching potential stem cell and immune effect in some research and finally we go to extended fast extended fast beyond 3 days are usually therapeutic and should always be supervised by a professional the benefits of extended fast are its profound metabolic changes and clinical protocols amplifies all prior benefits with profound detoxification and tissue renewal can significantly reduce markers of chronic inflammation promote spiritual and mental clarity often described as resetting the mind and should always be approached with supervision and nutrient refeeding protocol By now I'm sure I've given you a lot of information on fasting to help you prevent and heal your body. So before I end, let me leave you with some key takeaways on the benefits of fasting. Physiological benefit. Fasting can stimulate autophagy, a natural process where cells recycle and remove damaged or dysfunctional components, which can help you with cellular renewal and rejuvenation. Fasting can help remove toxins and waste products from cells which can reduce oxidative stress and inflammation. Fasting can affect hormone levels including insulin, growth hormone and cortisol which can impact various bodily functions such as metabolism, growth and stress response. Metabolic benefit fasting can lead to weight loss. particularly when combined with healthy diet and regular exercise fasting can help improve insulin sensitivity reducing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes fasting can shift the body's energy source from glucose to ketone which can improve metabolic flexibility 
potential therapeutic benefits. Fasting has been shown to have neuroprotective effects, particularly reducing the risk of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Some studies suggest that fasting may have anti-cancer properties, although more research is needed to confirm its effectiveness. Fasting may help improve cardiovascular health by reducing inflammation, improving blood lipid profiles, and lowering blood pressure. Other benefits. Some studies suggest that fasting may promote longevity by reducing oxidative stress and improving cellular function. Fasting can help improve mental clarity and focus, potentially due to the increased production of a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF. Fasting may help stimulate the immune system, potentially reducing the risk of illness and infection. And finally, I must say that fasting is a flexible tool for health and healing. The longer the fast, the deeper the repair. I thank you all for coming and listening to me.